back, we back with another one. They thought it wasn't gonna be no another one or something. Man, do here, different. We back with another episode, another episode of Woo. It do here, different. Hold on, y'all whooping. Hold on, I'm I'm jumping right out the porch. Is y'all together? Why is y'all on my oh show my together, bro? <laughs> like, break this shit down. I'm going to break this shit down. We ain't you locked in. Locked in. What that mean? Because in Iraq, they could mean, break that down. We ain't meeting in Iraq, so. Okay. Y'all ain't meeting in We showed right. in. We were just talking about that. We met in the A. Because it's an age different. Oh, it's age ain't number to number. Break that down. It ain't shit by number. That's the phone number. Oh, that's phone number. Okay, that's just gang. Okay, how y'all whooping then? We cooling. Okay, let's start. Yeah. <laughs> now, we got, so what's the connection? Because I don't know if. The fans even know about this type of collab. Like, do the fans be seeing y'all over whooping? Like, break this shit down. They like, seen that shit once or oh. twice by they, they kicking it in the A. Okay, so y'all do be whooping in the A. Yeah, we, you know, I just moved to the A though. Okay, you just. You know, moved. I was in LA for like a couple years. I just moved to the A. I'm really like just getting back to my shit and tapping back in with everybody. I fuck with all the new music coming out of Chicago. Chucky going crazy. Okay, that's about. So Chucky going crazy. Chucky got snatched out the interview is crazy. Who just snatched him up? It hit Dirty, you got snatched. Do your homework. Do your homework on Chucky. He'll be back. Okay, put it like this. You got snatched and pulled back. <laughs> you got snatched and pulled back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's just break this shit down. So you you moved to the um you moved to the A. Why you choose to move to Atlanta? Like and what's the What's the difference with networking in LA as opposed to Atlanta? I mean, yeah. Um, I moved to uh, the A because I just went independent. So I'm doing my I'm doing my own thing, my own way, my music and everything. That's my first time doing it. I feel like if I'm gonna put this shit out, I gotta tap in with the city. I gotta like, you know, get back to why my fans love me. So I just been, you know, just listening to the new music, tapping in with people. Shout out to DJ Benz. He put me in. Um, he put me in tune with Chuck. He put me in tune with a lot of people. Like Benz, the one who introduced me to Vine. Like anytime Benz asks me to like hop on a song or or link up with an artist, I always just you know fuck with him. So he put me in tune with Chuck. So you being a female from Chicago, how do you feel about? You at a dirt concert, J Main in here. He ain't different. <laughs> Break this super shit. different. Break this shit down. I'm proud of you, man. I just seen you in LA. Okay. I mean, no, Atlanta. Okay, that was the A. Okay, hit That was a, that was the A. We took some pictures. Somebody took my camera to the side. They stole the camera. It's crazy. It's okay because it was priceless. The link up was priceless. They couldn't catch that. Yeah, you had to be there to see that. You shit. had to be there to see that. So yeah, we linked up, and now I see you in Chicago. You got new chain. I'm trying to whoop now. What's going on? I'm trying to whoop. I'm trying to get some money on. Can okay. I, Get some money I'm fucking with it. Yeah, Don't spend it too fast, though. That's what they keep telling me, but do your homework on I never had shit. I'm for 63. I, I feel never, you. I hit that, I never had nothing. I ain't gonna lie, you did your big one. I'm trying to whoop. Hit yeah. Let's, start Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. I want to see the inside of it, too. So you, okay, you heard? So put it like this. Like so the Cheerios? D I mean, the, I'm sorry. You on that bullshit. <laughs> why would, why would, where's your, no, no, I'm saying, the, no, I'm saying the whoops is, the whoops is iced out. They on to the whoops, that's hard. Okay, let's start there. We got the calories on the side. I don't think you showed them that shit in the video. Okay, you doing the same shit Woody was doing. Okay. I don't get no fuck. <laughs> what, Woody, who the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this, see, see you on that Chicago shit. See, that's this. this you the know Chirac, how I am. The Chiraki and then you is coming out. I'm the only one that can touch that main chain, period. Okay, break this shit down there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, let, let's just start here. Now, what was your motivation to even become a, a artist, to become a rapper, come from the background that you come from? Like, what was your biggest inspiration? You want to know, like me, personally, I've I always been different from everybody else. So even when I was in high school, I used to go to Dix, Dixon. You know what I said? Dixon. Dixon um, in the nah, it's like uh, by Cole Park. It's like 81st. I grew up on 81st and King Drive. It's Dixon over there. But like when I went to Dixon, after school, I never wanted to come home. I used to like watch myself, watch my little sister. I never wanted to go home, so I used to use any excuse to stay after school. I joined every fucking club. I joined the poetry club, the jazz band, the pom pom team, and I was just good as fuck at the music and the poetry. And then, you know, when I started getting my shit together, I'm like, damn, poetry is kind of like rapping, and the jazz is, it taught me how to sing. And then I just put it together, and I don't know, it just took off for real. 
So, I seen you in Atlanta, you was with OTF. I see you here, you you with OTF. Is you OTF? Break this shit down. Bye, OTF. You not OTF. Bye, OTF. You ain't got an OTF chance. I don't know. But they the family, though. Okay, they the family. They still only the family. Would you, if, if that proposition came, would you sign an OTF? I don't know. It, it, it gotta be... I, I fuck with Dirk. I fuck with the whole team. That's my family. So like, you know, we it's crazy because we actually had like a combo earlier this year, but I don't know. It would we, we it, that's a hard question. Are there any OTF female artists? I don't think so. Drizzy the first. We gonna speak this shit to his this time. What you down. think that's you think that's the one? Put it like this. I feel like if it puts you in a, a bigger, put it like this, if anything is a good move, if it puts you in a bigger position or a bigger light to whoop, how you gonna whoop? Because somebody could have told me this wasn't a good move for you, but I felt like, hey, this was gonna get me here, this was gonna get me that, this was gonna get me that. So sometimes people don't see your vision, how you see it. So, it different. Yeah, I fuck with them, though. Like, you know, if we talk about the right shit, I think it could, it could, it could be something. Okay, so let's break this shit down. Do you feel like your career is where it should be or where it needs to be from how much work you put in? Because what year you came in the game? I came in a long time ago. I've been doing this shit for, for years. But I like what you just said. From what the, the work I put in, I feel like I'm where I need to be. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I really took it like really went there with it like how I should I'll be way further you know but I think it's it be a lot of shit that go on like I when I make music it, it came from like a therapy point for me like it was like this is what I vent this is what I do to like feel good when you start getting into shit and you see how shysty the game is how many people trying to put their hands in your cup like it get real like like you lose the passion for it a little bit so I think like I wasn't I took a lot of time off, but now I'm back at that point where I'm like, all right, like y'all niggas can't outsmart me. Y'all can't out snake me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, long as y'all, yeah, I learned a lot. That's really what it is. So now I'm coming back in the game. It's like, all right, I got the lawyers that I need. I got the team I need. I know what I need to do. Like, y'all can't fuck me over like y'all tried to do when I came up. So you feel like they whooped you the first time? Yeah, yeah. Over whooped you? Everybody be over whooped me. Like, that's how it go. They, they know when you in the hood, coming from Chicago, you ain't got, I ain't had no money. I was going for, whatever. you feel me? Not whatever, but I was just like, and I was, that's why I was saying, be careful with your money too. I was, now I'm just smart. I got financial managers that teach me how to do certain shit. Like, I'm just way more on point now. So, it's like, you know. With you being a woman in this in this type of industry, do you feel like women have to fuck to get where they need to go? Or do you feel like women who do fuck get further? Break this shit down. I feel like if you talented, you ain't got to fuck where you need to go. But if you ain't got no talent, you bitch, you might have to do a dick. I ain't gonna lie, like, that's it. That's how motherfuckers be skipping again. Because it's like, you know damn well you don't deserve to be in some of these rooms you in. So you got to... But I think if you do gotta stoop to that level where you gotta fuck to get somewhere, you might not need to be in that room. Like, go somewhere where you. Ain't gonna from. last. Yeah. You can't just keep doing it. Different. Yeah, exactly. If you're not talented and you're trying to replace that with, like, you're gonna forever have to keep. Doing it. Yeah. Do your homework on Why I say that? Do your homework forever keep doing it. That's right there. That, that started up. Damn, it hit different. We right here with you. Um, nah, let, can you say something positive to the kids? Um, he is right here on Roots. I don't want to take too much of your time. I did want, want to get a, a little breath of that um of that stardom that you got on putting them on this Roots platform, on Fold them Gray, how you bless the platform. I appreciate you. No doubt. Um, Some positive. Be you. I know it sounds so corny. I hate when people say shit like that. But for real, for real, be you. And um, work hard, whatever you want to do. Discipline. Stay disciplined. And yeah, just. I hate doing stuff like that. Like, I just feel like just be yourself and go for what you want. Like, 
Dream like you've never seen obstacles. That's a J. Cole quote. And really go for what you want. Anything is possible. Like, dead ass. I'm not trying to be corny. Like, for real, for real. Manifest what you want and go after the life you want. I agree with you because I mean, I feel like I, I had to do that and that's what it was. I'm no cap. No, J Man, I got a question for you. So. Hold on, wait, wait. We right here on Woops. Don't get ahead of yourself. Now, I ask you the question. Now, no, look, look, no. Look, look, look. <laughs> would, would you go 50-50 with a man? That's the last question I got for you because you're getting behind. You're you're no, but I got yourself. a real question for you. We talking I, about positivity and okay, shit. Okay, break this shit down. Okay, Jamin, because I really, you don't even know. I was like watching when you was going through your shit. And I was yeah, and you. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. When I was going through what? Break this shit down. We right here on I don't want to like. Expose this shit. We right here on Whoops. I think you was like in the um, storage unit. I was homeless. Break this shit down. Okay, so say it. I don't want to say it. I was in a storage unit. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> you was in a storage unit. What the fuck? <laughs> like, look. <laughs> you just said, it's no, it's all type of ways. You okay. Don't that shit. I, right. I think a storage unit is better than being homeless, but it's okay. okay. So you was in that. So what advice would you get like what you think is like the biggest key to what like flipped your whole situation around um hard work and dedication no don't be don't don't do that hard work and dedication Did you pray? On my baby. like was you oh prayed up on my baby i never stopped praying though like do your homework. See, I'm a, um, I'm a biblical. Do your, you did your homework on biblical, a biblical, biblical. Do your homework on how to say biblical. First of all, I'm, <laughs> I'm net though. It's different. Don't worry about. it. I'm biblical. So <laughs> John three sixteen right here. So you worried about the wrong shit. I'm, I'm worried about the right I'm on, shit. I'm on point. <laughs> different. Okay, Our good. Work, Tell the camera. Don't. Why are you coming okay, at me? What okay, you okay. Cause you try to act like I don't know no, how to say I'm, biblical. Okay. I'm, you me, right? And I said it right that time. Tripping over his like, damn tongue. All right, so look, I mean, we done had a couple. The camera. We done had a no, couple no, no. drinks. The camera. We had a couple drinks. I ain't going to be talking to them. I'm this not my show. Fuck I'm, you talking about. Not, Big dreams over whooping in this bitch. Yeah, What's going on? See, it hit different. See, and you cussing on my platform. I'm sorry. This for the kids. All right, my bad. Them this kids show. worse than us. Oh, that's why we got to we gotta, <laughs> we gotta show them better. At the, man, do y'all homework, man. This has been an exclusive. With Jesus and Big Apple, do I gotta go to the Wolf Man? Hit different.